So recently I've been on a rewatch of the entire MCU just for my own personal fun. And then I reach In this movie, for those who don't know, world leaders and national governments are scared of the Avengers because they have so much power and are left unchecked and are free to do basically whatever they want. The highlight of what I just said being that they are very powerful and can do basically whatever they want, which is concerning the governments because if you're doing something the Avengers don't like, they can take you down fairly easily. Civilians and individuals are scared too because the Avengers are left unchecked without any protocol. They can do whatever they find necessary to take down villains, which results in heavy damages to regular infrastructure and buildings, whether it's intended or not. This comes to a head when the Avengers literally blow up an entire country, after evacuating its civilians though, in order to take down a villain they themselves accidentally created. Even though they are humanity's best line of defense against supernatural villains, their existence is simply concerning due to the asymmetry that exists between Thor, the supposed quote-unquote god of thunder, and an M1 Abrams tank. It'd be like a fist fight between two people. If both people just use fists then it's even. If the other guy decides to bring a stick though, then so can their opponent. If one of the opponents has superhuman strength, however, then there's nothing his opponent can do to take him down without having that superhuman strength as well. Or to a lesser extent, nuclear weapons. If one country has nukes and the other doesn't, then the one that does can destroy its opponent entirely. Main difference here, however, is that nuclear fallout could compromise overall objectives. A similar dilemma exists with superheroes. If Thor, Hulk, or Doctor Strange ever said, screw it, let's destroy the planet, then without any weapon to match their powers, the world would be outgunned. It's similar to how superior technology and medicine helped Europeans take over much of Africa, which at the time was inhabited mainly by tribes who only had spears and shields to fight back against machine guns. All of this makes superheroes very concerning and quite frankly pretty scary, but in the MCU at least, their powers are very necessary in fighting other enemies with their own level of powers. Where would the world be if the Avengers hadn't been there to fight Thanos, for example? Nonetheless, the lesson we can take away is an understanding of how immense power can scare away other people, sometimes in the preemptive aggression or simply submission. Whether the power be military, nuclear, cultural, economic, political, and may not always be the best peacekeeper, especially when your opponent can't do anything to match it. 